Hello everyone, Daryl here with my son Doug and we're here today to talk about restoring an older vehicle in particular this 87 Bronco but in fact this information will be good for you for any older vehicle that has the traditional pull style headlight switch and a rotary windshield wiper switch and the problem is when you need to take the dashboard apart or to get the knobs off to remove the switches there's some special tricks to these that people who grew up with the newer style cars might not know. And this will go with real quick for a start. The headlight switch, in order to get this off or even this whole dash trim piece here off, you need to remove these two knobs. To do it with a headlight switch, you have to reach underneath here. It's not that hard. You reach up under there. And on the side of the switch, like right about where this finger is, there's a button. You can either reach up with your finger and push it, or if you can't get to it, take a flat blade screwdriver, compress the button, inward, grab the knob while you're holding the button in, and this whole arm and shaft will slide right out. It will cause your headlights to stay on while you're doing it, but most of the time, not always, but most of the time, so you'll need to work quickly or else pull the battery cable off so you don't run your battery down. Another issue is the windshield wiper switch here. People look at it, they feel around it, they can't feel how it comes off, and they'll start twisting it, maybe thinking it might screw off because in fact there's actually a few certain models that do screw off but this particular one does not and I just pulled it off with my hand here and show you how I actually broke it trying to get it off but in fact there's a spring clip on the inside of it which is still stuck there which we got to get off Doug and here's the new switch or knob and we can look inside and we can see the spring clip like a angled piece of steel there and a little access cutout hole right there. So, all right, so what you want to do is you want to get a tool, either a seal pick with a sharp, long turn back on it like this, or I've even used in a pinch a Leatherman tool with a little can opener hook on the end. And you'll see this will be in place. You'll take your tool, find this little hole here, the cutout, because the cutout indicates where you need to press at. You slide your pick tool into the cutout and pull toward you. When you pull toward you, it releases the tension on that spring. And if you're, if this was mounted on the shaft and you start pulling on that, the whole thing will pop right off and slide right into your hand with no damage. In order to install it, it's just a simple matter of lining up the shape of it and pressing it on. Real simple, real easy. They say just reach this behind, grab a hold of it, pull on it and I'll slide right off. As a matter of fact, we're going to grab a hold of this one that's on here right now. We're going to grab it with the pick and we're going to pull it a little bit and look at that, slides right off. Alright, I found the flat sides on top. I look inside and I see where the flat side of the clip is. You just line it up and twist it a little and push and it goes right on. Alright, one more little thing about these older vehicles. A lot of them have the dimmer switch mounted down here on the floor instead of on the steering column. The switch right here is fairly reliable, but they do tend to go bad sometimes, especially if you're out in the winter weather a lot. You get a lot of salt and water in here. Salt, salt and water can get down here underneath and short the switch out. And sometimes your lights will start flashing or you get a puff of smoke coming up from the floor here. And that's because your switch is shorted out. And it's a simple switch you get to. You just peel the carpet back right here. You get the carpet to fold back a couple inches. There's one or two screws. Some have, most of them just have one screw that mounts the switch to the floor. And then there's a little slide terminal connector with the wires on it that slides onto the side of it. Very quick and easy to change, replace, or even take it apart and clean it. Not a big problem. So that's three of the things on these older vehicles you can look out for and keep your eye on. And we'll be posting more videos as we go along. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.